One of the interesting things about giving uh, Bible tracts out on the streets is you never really know what impression you're making on people. Uh, you give Bible tracts out, you talk to people and so forth. But I suppose today, where we've been giving out Bible tracts, someone in the town has been watching our every move. And I say that because we got here at about 11 o'clock today and started giving out our traditional Bible tracts. And I saw a man walking towards me, clutching a brown envelope. And that's the envelope that he held out, walked up to me and gave it to me. Well, I slightly hesitated to take it because I'm always wary of what's going to be in this. But he thrust it in my hand and he disappeared into the crowd. I think I remember what he looked like. So I said to my son, uh, James, I said, what do you think about this? He said, well, let's, let's wait and see. So I had on given a few more tracks. And I finally put my hand in. And inside was a piece of paper. Bearing in mind, as I say, that someone has been watching us give out tracks in this town, perhaps for the last couple of months. And this person had gone to a lot of trouble to write something out for me to read. And this is what it says. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? And I wish the man had said to me, look, I don't like what you're saying. I'd like you to read this, because I would have sat down with him. But someone's gone to the trouble to start writing this out and to get one of these high glow, you know, these uh, filters and pens here, to highlight no God. What do you make of that? What a twisted, tormented soul? Or is that someone crying out for help, crying out for spiritual help? I don't know. But I thought you'd like to see that. Very unusual we get this. We do get shouted at and we do get people saying, you don't know what you're talking about, and storming off. But very rarely do we get a letter placed in a brown envelope, which someone had written out, hoping that it would be there today. And they were, and there is important. And it's important to anybody who watches this that if you give out Bible tracts and you talk to people, you're going to get people come up to you saying, I don't agree with what you say. I think it's a load of baloney and so forth. And that's fine. But it's the first time I've ever had a letter from somebody in the town about this saying there's no God. The thing is, as James just said in his last uh, little uh, clip that he gave, the Bible does say, the fool in his heart says there are no God. There is a God. He's a judging God. He's a loving God. He sent his son to save sinners. So I just thought I'd like to share that with you. So from this ministry, Maranatha.